Welcome, and thank you for joining for another whiskey review today. We're going to take a look at Signatories, Speyside, 17-year-old. The Whiskey Barrel Pick, exclusive? The M. The M. For McAllen. Yes, so, <laughs> we got a McAllen 17-year-old cash strength here. Dustin, something we've always asked for. Yeah. Cash strength McAllen. First fill sherry. This is also first fill sh- Oloroso sheriff I haven't added. Uh, yeah, this, heaven forbid they give us what we want. Yes, heaven, for under a thousand dollars. Heaven forbid you do exactly what I ask you to do. Uh, this bad boy uh, is bottle number five seven eight of six six five, cast number. There's a bunch of numbers, but it ends in pound thirty. So we'll put all those details in the description. But the big notes are first fill Oloroso sherry, McAllen cast strength whiskey. I would imagine unshell filtered and uncolored. Yes, from Signatory. So and as you know, Mike. Signatory most likely bought new make from McAllen, put it in their own sherry butts, mm-hmm. <clears throat> aged it in their own rick houses. So we're going to get that signatory character, <clears throat> which you know I've been a little negative on in the past, but I've also found that they kind of they have a variance of a pretty good amount where sometimes their sherry butts are pretty good, sometimes they're not so much. Before 16, home run. <clears throat> home run, yeah. Whatever Klein Lish that Keith had, when he disagreed with your opinion, not home run because he disagreed with your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it all goes back yeah, to. I'm like, is it 90? He's like, no, it's 94. <clears throat> all right. So, um, yeah, so McAllen, uh, 17 year old cash strength whiskey, space side, really dark, natural color of McAllen. Dustin, middle Boston's been in the McAllen. Let's get to it. Yeah. Red crayons. Yeah, red comes to mind. It's kind of waxy and oaky. Mm-hmm. A little bit of pencil shaving. Berries. Mm-hmm. Red berries. Mm-hmm. You're right, yeah, I hadn't really thought about it, but you're right. Definitely a pencil shaving note. I mean, you're picking up some things that definitely would, um, I guess, confirm the fact that it's first full of Rosso. Yeah. I guess I expected it to be punchier. Now, um, I opened this up a couple weekends ago when Keith was here. You also have this exact same box, and we picked up a few of them. So we both had the same bottle a few times. This is a pretty consistent experience. I've had yours and mine. It's it's from from uh, the uh, first pour to this. It's yeah, pretty yeah. consistent. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean, maybe in a year it'll start to make some changes, but right now it's a pretty consistent and, and what that is is just pretty sherry forward. Mm-hmm. I mean, basic kind of like kind of what you would think about McAllen. You know, when I think <clears throat> McAllen seventeen, you know, of course, in my mind I'm thinking, okay, we're going to get an eighteen year old cast strength. And maybe this is pretty close to what an eighteen year old cast strength is. I guess I expected more as far mm-hmm. as the volume. It's of, not of the same quality of sherry casks that McAllen uses that Signatory's getting. Uh, their their casks come off sweeter. They come okay. off a little more sulfured. As, even though you mentioned pencil shavings, this is probably less sulfury than a. McAllen is, so if you're sulfur sensitive, you're probably still not going to like this, but this might be less offensive. I agree. I agree. And pencil shavings in the best way. You're right. McAllen can come off some <clears throat> bit matchstick. Yeah. Where this, it's cap is uh, pencil shavings, which yeah. is... I actually kind of like the pencil shaving note here because it, it really sure. just kind of gives me a nice oak note. Mm-hmm. And it's also, it's some of these signatories can be so oaky that I just don't enjoy the sherry casks. This is on the oaky side, but it's not crossed into... Unpleasant or just wow, what are you doing? Very safe. I mean, I, I guess to to coin a phrase with this one, very safe, very approachable whiskey. Which is kind of what McAllen's malt's all about is being safe, simple, kind of basic. I mean, it's for fifty-seven five. I expected uh, <clears throat> more push. Yeah, not a lot of alcohol coming through. It, it is dense. It is rich. It is rich. Almost, it almost feels like it's kind of coiled yeah. back. It's almost like a like a good laggable one where you got to let it open up with water. But we'll get there. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I mean, it's it, this is classic kind of McAllen malt for sure, which is very, uh, it's a slightly unpleasant uh, distillate by itself. That's why they use heavy sherry casks, uh, and that's why they use very good heavy sherry casks. Uh, to add the sweetness and that little bit of unpleasantness that you pick up when you get them in a bourbon cask goes away because it gets balanced with sweet sherry notes. Signatory here is going with a little bit drier, a little less sweet sherry. Um, from what I'm getting here, and again, I've had this a few times. Mm. Yeah, just simple. Ch- chocolate. This is a very chocolate forward whiskey. We just had a, a bourbon with chocolate mold in it. This is still chocolate. Chocolate. This is. 
obviously, oh, not obviously, far more alcohol forward on the palate Ooh. than it was on the nose. <laughs> it, it, it is, you feel that 57% when yeah. you take a sip. That hit hard. Yeah, we've had a few drinks today. That, that was substantial. <clears throat> but, you know, you get a little bit of that McAllen. You know, now that I've had a couple of bourbon cast McAllen's, I can pick out, pick out kind of the funky grittiness of McAllen a little bit. It's a little metallic, too. Yeah, I don't, it's not, it's not, it almost, it's almost kind of like the worst part of Springbank meets the worst part of Ardbeg. <laughs> yeah. In a way, I'm kind of narrowing it down. <laughs> but you kind of got a little bit of that first, and then instantly went into chocolate and more chocolate and more chocolate, and then a little bit of alcohol sting, and then here come back the chocolate. Um, no ginger like you would get on a normal McAllen. I guess that's part of the cast maturation difference. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very signatory driven. A little, <clears throat> it, it, it's like McCown 18, but it's a little earthier, a little dirtier, far more chocolate forward, a little bit of espresso bean maybe. That's kind of my pick up here on, on first go around. Yeah, so I get <clears throat> the dominant note for me, Mike, is actually walnut. I think it's actually got this really intense, earthy, kind of, you know, slightly damp, basement cellar walnut that is playing is all through the whole whiskey. The chocolate's coming right there with it, so it's like chocolate, again, like almost slightly stale walnut. Um, you're getting some heavy oak punch kind of in the mid to end of the palate. A little bit of lack of refinement, but, you know, it's 17 years. That's not unusual to get a cast strength whiskey that's... Got a little bit of roughness still in it, especially a single cask. That's you know why they blend, you know, hundreds of barrels of McAllen mm-hmm. is to sort of find a way to kind of Even hide that you know that note, but still add like the punch. Um, I mean, it's what you'd expect for about 180 bucks for a first fill cast strength whiskey. It's got a lot of good with some rough edges. <clears throat> it is, yes, yeah, it was a bit stinging initially, you know, neat, but. Still a fun whiskey. All right, so with water, <clears throat> the chocolate comes out far more in the nose than it initially was. Now, I know it was there based on what the palate was, but unlike the palate that were super dark and super bitter, this comes off like a super rich milk chocolate. Super rich. But you know what? It's fairly one-dimensional with this whiskey. It's it's pretty straightforward. And that's kind of McCallum's malt, you know what I mean? You know, it's not a, a super fruity malt or, you know, a super dense malt or a waxy malt. It's just... It's slightly sweet, slightly earthy, has a slight metallic twinge, but nothing's offensive, nothing's bad. It's just kind of... Nothing I remember either. Yeah, yeah, and then the, the whiskeys come off sweet because they use really sweet, nice Oloroso <laughs> sherry casks. Well, this is far dirtier of a cask. So I'm getting all that dirtiness <clears throat> and all that chocolate. And there's none of what you traditionally think. Yeah, earthy oak, a little bit of raisins coming through. Yeah, a little leathery raisin. Yeah, hints of leather, you're right. Very, very light. Twins of salt on it, maybe. Definitely some chocolate. I'm not as milk chocolate as you are, Mike. I'm getting uh, something a little more, a uh, little higher cocoa note than milk chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate here. <clears throat> yeah, and I mean, there's... Maybe even a little bit of vanilla coming through, just a hint. Yeah, the more I go in, there is kind of a leather chair note that's actually really nice. And I think it's more from the wood than it is from age. Which seems like a weird thing to say, because the age in the wood's kind of how it works. But I think it's the actual, like, span. I'm guessing these are Spanish oak um, casts they're using. <clears throat> There's a slightly medicinal note to the oak as well. There's a twins of red berry now coming up again. Maybe mm-hmm. just a little bit of tobacco or some type of darker leaf. I could see just kind of like wet leaves and fall, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would, yeah. I mean, almost like kind of like you're at the apple orchard, but it's not apple. It's something else, kind of that's sweet and kind of decaying out there. Pleasant, but nothing, nothing special here. Agreed. The nose is very refined, whereas the palate was pretty intense. Mm-hmm. We'll find out with water if it's a uh, Brought out the refinement a bit. Yeah, with water, it does, it does let it show a little bit more. Mm-hmm. What it shows isn't overly impressive. It switched around the chocolates. Obviously made it more approachable. Meh. All right, whiskey score time, Dustin. I've been going back and forth between two scores. One score, the higher the two scores, I think it should be. But that just means it's the lower the two scores. <laughs> 87. I'll tell you what, I like everything here. There's nothing wrong with it. There's just nothing that exciting about it either. 
what would we pay for these 180 a piece? Something like that? Yeah, about 180 with shipping. I mean, that's about right. Yeah, no, I, I have, again, I have nothing negative to say. I have nothing special. This is kind of what I expected. I'm not, but I'm, I'm not running out saying, like, man, you have to get up. No, I, I really, I wanted to have a good first fill example of McAllen from somebody else. That's why I got it. That's why I picked one up for you. I said, hey, look, mm-hmm. we're both going to want this. It's, it's scratching that itch that you want to try because McAllen is such a big name, mm-hmm. despite the fact that we barely even consider buying their whiskeys these days. Yep. And for that reason, Mike, I should give this an 85. <laughs> I'm going to give it an 86. <laughs> but if, as I'm talking myself through here, I'm saying 85 in my head, like... All of those words sound 85, but no, it's, it's first fill, it's gas it's drink. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I'm getting a little bit, little bit better on... Chocolate orange now, dude. A little, little better with uh, water. Mm-hmm. I could go 87, but I think 86 is a fair score for what we're getting here. Um, I, I'm i glad I bought there's it. There's way better whiskey for way less money, yep. but to get the specs you're getting here, to get the flavor profile you get here, even though, man, you can get better, you can't, you can't get first fill... Cast strength whiskeys for less than this price to the, today. So this is actually a really affordable bottle. Good. So that's right as far as whiskey. I know these are floating around out there. So if you guys had a chance to uh, take a look at them and wonder what we thought of them, yeah. this, this is our opinions on them. If you guys had a chance to try them, I'd like to know what you guys thought as well. Dustin, until next time, what do we wish the folks? Happy, maybe more exciting whiskey drinking. We'll see you then.